previous administration. This is the people to focus on. Alan Greenspan. Well, Greenspan, I think what people don't understand about the, the Fed is what an important role the Fed plays in this entire mess. Going back, uh, you know, 20, 25 years, every time Wall Street gets in a lot of trouble, the Fed has been there to bail them out. It's, they even had a term for it on Wall Street called the Greenspan put, which essentially meant that every time the banks uh, blew up a speculative bubble, they could go back to the Fed and borrow money at zero or one or two percent and then start the game all over again. Uh, after the crash in 2008, you know, interest rates were slashed to basically nothing. The banks could go to, to the Fed and, and get money for free, and then they're out lending it to us at five, six, seven. I mean, how much is your interest in your credit? It's 15, 20 percent. It's almost impossible not to make money in banking if your cost of capital is zero. Uh, that's what banking is all about, and that's what the Fed has done. It's, it's provided a massive subsidy system uh, for the banks on Wall Street. One of the things that I, I found out when I was interviewing uh, you know, former SEC officials, um, former high-ranking financial cops who uh, leave government service and they go to work in these millionaire partnerships on, on Wall Street, um, it creates this collegial atmosphere uh, where it's just a few, uh, a small group of lawyers who all know each other and they are on this constant merry-go-round from government back to private service, back to government again. This is the way the world ends, this is the way the world ends, this is the way the world ends, not to the bang but a whimper.